what you and I give to the Lord in terms of money and time and talent and goods should come out of a life that is holy and totally and thoroughly committed to God, to the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit. 100%. Well, in 1815, Napoleon was defeated in the Battle of Waterloo, and the hero of that battle was the Duke of Wellington. The Duke's most recent biographer claims to have an advantage over all the previous biographers. His advantage was that he found an old accounts ledger that showed how the Duke had spent his money during his life. And that, says the biographer, was a far better clue to what the Duke thought was really important than all of his letters or speeches. Can you imagine that? If someone wrote your biography on the basis of finding your old checkbook registers and your income tax returns and the appointments in your day planners, what might they say about you and your loyalty? and your focus, and whom you serve. Because dear friends, for better or for worse, Jesus said it first, at the beginning of his ministry, so that it would stick with all who would follow him. Our treasure and our hearts, they go together. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.